Lionel Messi smiled and waved to his adoring fans during a celebratory event on Saturday, held prior to Inter Miami's 2-1 victory over Chicago Fire FC, in honor of his latest Copa America title. The celebration took place inside Chase Stadium, where Messi stood alongside Inter Miami co-owner Jorge Mas as a video showcasing highlights from Messi's illustrious career played on the stadium screens. They were positioned on a custom mat in the center circle of the pitch, which was emblazoned with the words, Lionel Messi 45 titles. Jorge Mas addressed the crowd, saying, Tonight, we celebrate a great milestone of our captain Leo Messi in becoming the footballer who has lifted the most trophies in the history of this sport. And I am sure, he won't stop at 45. We hope he can lift many more in the future. Indeed, no other player has achieved more titles for both club and country, nor celebrated as much success in the sport's history. However, the celebration was tinged with a somber note in brevity, as Messi's quest for his 46th title was currently on hold. Messi, wearing a walking boot on his injured right ankle, slowly limped to and from midfield. He opted not to speak, letting his smiles and waves communicate his gratitude to the fans. Each step he took served as a poignant reminder of the injury he sustained during an awkward play in the Copa America final, where his right ankle twisted, swelling to the size of a softball, causing him to weep on Argentina's bench. Before their victory, the timeline for Messi's return from injury remains uncertain. Inter Miami coach Tata Martino indicated earlier in the week that Messi's ankle would be evaluated on a week-to-week -week basis. After the game, Martino was non-committal about Messi's status, including his potential absence from the MLS All-Star game. Observing Messi's walk suggested that his recovery might extend over several months. This poses a challenge for Inter Miami, as the League's Cup begins next Saturday, and Messi is likely to be unavailable to help defend their title the 44th of his career. The tournament spans five weeks, culminating in a final on August 25th, which might not provide enough time for Messi to recover and participate. Despite this setback, there is positive news for Inter Miami's broader season. The team is in excellent form for the remainder of the MLS season and a potential playoff run, where reduced travel and home field advantage could benefit Messi's gradual return. Inter Miami has managed to perform admirably without Messi, winning six of seven matches since the Copa America began. This successful streak continued with their 2-1 win over Chicago, secured by goals from Matias Rojas in the sixth minute and Jordi, Alba in the 75th minute. Martino praised the team's efforts, stating, We tried to put together a team where we could hide the absences, especially Leo's absence. And well, I think, in that sense, the guys who had to take charge have given very good performances, after the match against Chicago, Inter Miami boasts 53 points and a strengthened first-place lead in the MLS Eastern Conference, aided by two wins and two losses by second-place Cincinnati this week. Even if Inter Miami were to fail to gain another point, they would likely still qualify for the MLS playoffs. The 50-point threshold alone has historically been sufficient for at least a top-seven seed over the last three seasons and the MLS playoffs admit nine teams from each conference. Into the postseason, not only has Inter Miami thrived without Messi, but they are also well positioned to continue competing for a top playoff seed in anticipation of his return. While seeing Messi lift another trophy this year would be a spectacular sight, his fans would be equally thrilled simply to see him return to action, free from injury, tears, and limping.